All right, so this comic book review is going to be Avengers number 675, No Surrender Part 1. Let's see there. Get back to it. Um, I guess it's going to, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be a weekly series. So this was last week. Um, this week another one comes in and like so on and so forth. Uh, I think it's an eight-part series. I don't remember correctly. Um, but yeah, if I'm understanding this correctly, it's going to be every week they're going to come out with new issues. So, it starts off with, uh, we'll just hop into this. Uh, this takes, it's starting to take place in Texas, and you got a game of poker, or at least I think it's Texas Hold'em, uh, coming up. These guys are playing with some guy in a suit. Right there. That's the guy in a suit. And they're talking, chit-chatting, and this cowboy-looking guy with a gun shows up points a gun at the guy in the suit. The other two are like, oh, we're just playing cards. And the guy with the gun is like, oh, you idiots don't know, this is a hero, superhero. It turns out to be uh, Living Lightning. Now, I'm going to be honest, I don't know who that is at all. But apparently, he's uh, he used to be, he's working undercover right now, looks like he's a cop, uh, and he used to be an Avenger, or is an Avenger, one of, one of the two, I think he used to be. Um... He's talking about how, oh, you know, once part of this group, blah, blah, blah. Because he's not part of it no more, so he's like wobbling in the middle of over there. Um, so, and then something happens, something this guy hits, and see him and his uh, partner there luck up. Now, at the same time, this is happening over in New York City, and this guts the introduction here, no Avengers, no surrender. Uh, you got Falcon flying up, and he spots this weird bright red thing. Um, he doesn't know what it is. All of a sudden, if you remember, if you read uh, Secret Wars uh, from like two summers ago, I think it was, and everything hit the fan like right off the bat. So here we got the same thing going on. It's like earthquakes, catastrophes going on, uh, and I think the Earth has been teleported elsewhere. God knows where. Uh, they don't know where it's at. You got Vision on one end of uh, New York. Uh, rescuing people, you have uh, Falcon rescuing people, all of a sudden Carol's standing up there, you see her there, yeah, well she's staring at where Earth used to be, so nobody knows what's going on, Beast, Vision, Black Panther, everyone, all the smart brains here, I'm trying to figure out what's going on, no one has any answers, uh, Thor, Lady Thor, over here, she's also helping rescue people, Hercules is with her. Um, picks up this giant boulder that's coming at her. Um, I don't really, I haven't been following Avengers, so I don't know what the deal is with uh, Jarvis. But uh, Jarvis is also, he's in the middle of this catastrophe that's going on, and he has groceries there. And um, stuff's happening. People are, uh, stuff's falling on people, buildings are crumbling. It's just a, a mess. And all of a sudden, this uh, all this rubble is going to fall on this one kid. Jarvis kicks him and pushes him out of the way, as you see. And this is... I don't know what... Like I said, I don't follow uh, Avengers, so I don't know who this is. Um, but apparently that's Wasp. A Wasp. And she's with Jarvis, and then she's like, Oh, I think I got, you know... Got them out of the way, blah, blah, blah. And she sees that Jarvis is now crushed. I mean, that's the boy that he shoved in uh, Jarvis' hand. So, this wasp, I guess, is in uh, one of the Avengers group. I think it's the Jungle group. I don't even know who all of them are. Um, in San Diego, stuff's going uh, sideways as well. Uh, there's a big wave about to hit the city. And it, Rogue's standing up there. Rogue and Wasp, uh, but Janet, not the other one. Um, Scarlet Witch and Johnny are out there. As you see this giant waves coming towards the city that's over here. Uh, they ask, they're, uh, they're tripping out, that's the big wave. Rogue manages to take a boat out of there. Um, Janet, or Wasp, this Wasp, asked Johnny if he, he could like vaporize some of the um, some of the water, you know, soften the blow. He's trying, his power's like, if uh, you remember the comic book review of uh, Marvel 2 in 1 thing and uh, Human Torch. Johnny's powers are on and off right now. They're, they're not completely 
100% reliable. New Mexico, uh, you got Hawkeye, and I forget who this is. Over here. Oh. I guess I don't really know who that is. It looks like Warpath, but I don't want to say it's Warpath, but um, they're coming across rubble and they're, they're saving people. So it seems like just all these natural disasters just like shook up everything. Mount this Viscerous? Mount Viscerous, you see uh, US Avengers there. I don't follow them either, but I know of them. So you got the Red Hulk there, you got Cannonball, it's kind of cool to see Cannonball and something. Um, Squirrel Girl, and there's the same thing, they're saving people, or they're stopping a volcano from uh, erupting, or creating a force field around it. Uh, and they managed to put a force field around the volcano so it won't like erupt and just pour over everyone. Uh, once this happens, though, something uh, is shooting from the sky. And it looks like a, a shooting star or something. They're not sure what it is. But whatever it is, it like shoots up, then over. And that's heading towards Rome, I think. I want to say it's Rome just because it looks like the Coliseum. No, yeah, it is Rome. So it hits Rome. Uh, back in Washington, D.C., Cat is over there taking control of what's going on over there. Uh, same thing. But all of a sudden, just like, I don't know where Cat freezes. If you see, he's all blue. And... Queens, New York. Spider-Man's frozen. Uh, Black Panther's frozen. Uh, who are these guys? The champions are frozen. Arizona. So you got Arizona, Wakanda, and Queens, New York, Washington, D.C. Um, Central Park. You got X-Men frozen. Mount Viserys, whatever. Some of the U.S. Avengers are uh, frozen. Vision is frozen. Wasp. Janet's frozen, you see Johnny there, like, what's going on, even her wings stop moving. So, all the ones that are blue are frozen. They're just like, like someone hit the pop button on them. So, I don't know who's coming to, I think Rogue's the one that's sending out the signal to all the remaining Avengers that are functioning to assemble. So, they hear that call, they uh, pick up the signal, and see Rogue and everyone there. All the Avengers that are Unfrozen are there, and you see Hercules over here bringing vision that's pretty much a statue right now. So everyone's trying to figure out what's going on. Nobody knows what's going on, nobody knows where Earth is at right now. They're on Earth, they know, they know that. Um, that wasp comes back, she's talking about Jarvis is in the hospital, and Rose pretty much on her look. We get it, um, but we gotta focus on helping everyone on Earth. We can't, you know. Put, prioritize one life uh, over seven billion. So that wasp ain't having it. She storms out. Beast goes after her. And uh, I didn't even know Rogue had a had a group where team she's running. But uh, Quicksilver's part of that. And long story short, this one comes up. Not sure who that is either. Um, tells you who all the teams are right there. And come back next week for more Avengers. So you got the other issues right there. Uh, it's just going to be a weekly series. Uh, I liked it. I'm going to follow it. Uh, like I said, it comes out in the next seven days, so it'd be this Wednesday for me. Um, I don't understand most of the teams that are in it, but I do recognize a lot of faces. And I will follow the series. Uh, I think it's an eight-part series, like I said. I'm not sure. But it comes out every week. Why not? It's pretty cool. That's all I got for that comic book review. If you want to leave your comments in the comment section, your thoughts on it, if you're keeping up with it, if you know who happy teams are, 